Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of my vault build. This one's going to be a little bit different because I've already built at, at least half of it. Um, which I will show you kind of what I built so far and what we're going to expand upon. So in here I didn't do much, I just wired it up so that way I could put these lights in because it was pretty dark over here. Um, which was just from this reactor, just wired it up. Nothing too crazy there. So, but on this side, I went ahead and built the main area, which is this awesome looking... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't look. Don't look, don't look, don't look. There, okay. Um, yeah, so this is the main area. So the majority of this was me learning what the hell I'm doing with this new DLC. And then the other part was me actually building. So I didn't want to scrap all of this down and then record myself building it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of show you guys what I built. And then we're going to expand upon that on the other side. Um, so over here, well, one thing to note. I went to a bunch of different vaults, so like the, uh, the Vault 95, 81, and 111, just to see kind of how they set everything up. And I noticed that they use a lot of these weird angles and corners for theirs, instead of just having like a straight wall. And I think that just really kind of brings it to life a little bit more, makes it a little bit easier to look at. And once we decorate, so I'm put like a bunch of different chairs and stuff like that out here, it's going to look really cool. But I really like the way that these kind of corners and angles worked out pretty well. Especially like something like this, we can just use this for storage, you know. Little things like that, but yeah, okay, I just wanted to show that off. Um, so over here is the cafeteria, obviously, and on this side it's going to be a bunch of different shops. So like a shop here, this is actually security, but I'm going to change it to a shop and then move security on this side, make it a little bit bigger. That's for the next video. So. Uh, and then over here is going to be the common area, and um, I'm sure you noticed this, the floors in here, is actually a mod. It's the Vault 88 expansion mod that I'm using, and it gives you a bunch of different items for decorations and like wall hangings, but it also gives you these rooms, um, this, so like, they're all the same pieces, but they just have a little different, you know, textures on them, so the floor and the walls are different. This is the bathroom the school, which looks pretty cool, um, residential, which looks a lot better than the other one that we were given, and then like a barber. So if you have access to mods, this one is pretty cool. It gives you, it lowers the size limit and then, um, well, increases the size limit, um, and then gives you just more space to work with and everything, and it works out pretty cool. Um, but okay, so yeah, moving upstairs, and this is all pretty much the same thing. Shop, living area for the shop owner, same thing on this side, shop, living area. Uh, this is going to be the clinic, very large clinic. And then um, I'll take you over there in a second. Cafeteria, that leads to a classroom. And another shop, leads to living quarters. And then finally the green room. This is going to be kind of like a greenhouse, I'm going to put a bunch of food in here. And, oh yeah, notice my vault boy. What's up, man? Just chilling. I think that looks pretty cool. I didn't know what to do with this side, but I thought that turned out pretty cool. I'm going to decorate it a little bit more. Just wanted to give you an idea. Okay, so now the favorite part. I don't, I don't need this anymore. Okay. Um, my favorite part, this is going to be the overseer's area. So I'm going to put like a desk and have an assistant here so that she can tell everyone I'm busy. And then we we'll go up here. This is the overseer's area, which looks fan fucking fantastic. Put the desk and everything like that in here. And oh, I'm gonna I'm building this later, so you'll see what what I do there. Um, this is the living area for me. And then up here is what I'm most excited about. Um, in this huge room right here, I'm going to put all of my power armor. So it's going to be spotlights and power armor stations all over the place. It's going to look fucking great. And then, oh, okay, I build that too. So you'll see that in a little bit. But I like the idea of giving the Overseer a bunch of these different little runoff rooms that only they have access to. Um, and that's pretty much what I've built so far. 
So what we're going to do now is work on the residential side. And that's going to share the same walls over here with all these different shops. So we get to work with all those different angles. So yeah, let's get started. So I started building without you. Sorry, I kind of didn't realize that. But so I'm started at the end of the main area. So like that back wall where the overseer is. And then I'm kind of working my way up. Um, and each room is going to be about the same size. This is going to be a doorway and then three corner pieces. And I'm lining them up where they meet the back of the walls of the shops on the other side um, perfectly. So I'm not wasting any space because we really don't have a lot to work with. So yeah, so here, it's going to be a corner doorway. Corner door, there it is. Okay, and then corner piece, corner piece, and corner piece. Um, so you'll notice this is the common area before I use the mod and change the floor and I'm lining it up exactly with that back wall. I actually got about halfway building the residential side and realized I didn't have enough room and had to scoot all of the main area over. So that's why I'm stressing make sure you have enough space, make sure it lines up and you're not wasting any because it seems like a very large area but as many have said we really don't have a lot of room to work with, so just bear that in mind when you're building. So on this side, I don't have enough space to do the same thing, so I'm just going to turn it and do the four corners off to the side, which actually works out pretty well. I'm going to snap in the doorway, corner pieces, and... Oh, what's funny is that I spent a good bit of time getting that last corner piece in, which it does go in, you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I end up scrapping this whole room and changing it to the walkway from the residential area to the main area. Um, but I, I like the way it looked with like this red pipe that was going through. Get in there. Do it. There it is. Um, yeah, so it actually looked pretty neat, but I end up scrapping it because I need a walkway. Oh, I used the middle wall there to fill in that gap, which is very helpful and it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the left side, I measured this out before, so I know that I can have two walls and that would give me enough space to have the same kind of room on the other side. So I wanted the room right here on the corner, so I'm adding in the middle doorway and then I'm going to snap the other pieces just like before. I did this because I didn't want the left side to line up perfectly with the right side. Since I can't put in a bunch of different angles like I did in the main area, this all has to be pretty much straight because I don't have enough room. So I'm just trying to make it look a little bit different as much as I can. And you're going to notice here, on the left side, I'm going to have a space in between these rooms. So I'm going to place this last one in. There we go. And then there's going to be a bit of a gap in between, you see? Yeah, I put a door right there thinking that I could do something with it, but then I said to hell with it, I'm not dealing with that, so... Oh, there's the gap! Did you see? Where Larry's standing? Hey Larry! Um, it's going to be really cool and I'm really excited to show you guys, but I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. You, you'll find out later in the video, but, but not right now. Uh, so with that new idea I had, I'm going to shift the door over and then finish the bottom part. Okay, so I added in the stairwell here and the upper floor. It's nothing too crazy. You want to use the upper floor because they're thicker and I think they just look better, but the corner it doesn't really matter because they hide whatever you put over there. Uh, notice this part. You see the middle wall, how it snapped to that doorway? But if I had put a middle doorway right there, it wouldn't have snapped. Those two refuse to work together in the corner, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Even here, I tried to add in the middle wall, but the upper floor would not let it. So, you have to put the upper floor in last, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump down, add in all the walls, all the doorways, and then snap in the upper floor. Okay, so upstairs, now I'm just going to add in the rooms off to the left, which will just take a second.
Okay, over here you notice that the shop is actually blocking where the room's supposed to go, which I do fix. Um, I just don't know what to do right now in the video, so I'm just going to fall off and then work on what's going to be the classroom. So I use the security room first, and then after I download that mod uh, and see that they actually give you a classroom, I switch it. Even the back room over there, I turn that into the cafeteria. But it's pretty much the same design. And uh, you'll see here in just a second that I kind of remove that doorway right there. But I do bring it back because I just think it looks better. But do this for now. Okay. On this side, I really only had one option, and that was to just move the room over. And I'm going to change the which side that door comes out of the shop. And it actually turned out, it, it worked out pretty well. Um, so let's change this over to the other corner doorway. That one. And then get the security room. That Yeah, so I'm using the security room for the living quarters. Um, which, I, yeah, I just did that because I didn't want to use the same you know, the same design, I want to, the mall to look a little different. So I'm just going to decorate it accordingly and I think it's going to look fine. And over here I noticed that I have a little extra room, so I kind of expand this one, but I don't like the way it comes out, it's just too big for a living area, so later on I do make it smaller. And there we go. Um, yeah, so over here you get to see what I was talking about in the works, um, because I didn't take my own advice. I'm using the middle doorway, and so this middle wall is not working. See, not working. So I just get rid of that, put the middle wall in, and then I use the other, that one. See, works so much better. And over here, you see, I didn't want to cover this up. I thought it was like a cool little indention, kind of like in the middle room. So the way you make this work with the roof, um, obviously don't do what I'm doing right now, because that's not going to work for you. But if you put in the floor, Add in the atrium floor, maybe. Get in there. Do it. There, okay. So I left some of this in just because I wanted to show you guys how much I fall off and the struggle of just getting this to work. So I tried a few different things and it wasn't really working out so I realized that it's actually quite simple. You just add in the floors and then put in this beautiful corner piece. Look at that, they fit in perfectly. And there we go, rocket science. Okay, moving on. Let's put in the doorway over here. Put in, put in the doorway. Put in the doorway core, do it. There. So you see how it's like a sharp edge right there? These are supposed to snap in, but they don't because the upper floor is there. And the upper floor won't snap if these are already there. So if you look down like I'm doing, it actually clips into the wall, you see? It works every single time, but you have to look down and then kind of slide it over. And there we go, all set. So now I'm just gonna place this back in the upper floor, there we go. See, so it just snaps in. As long as you're coming from below, it snaps in just fine. And then I'm gonna add in the doorway here. And there we go, so I'm gonna change this part to a cafeteria, and then that's gonna be the classroom. But, all right, so the railing just drove me crazy it was infuriating because Bethesda chose not to give us all the items that we needed again I still love you guys I do but it's just you just make it hard sometimes <laughs> um, so here I am trying to add in the railings but nothing was working not even the slightest little bit which was really pissing me off and driving me f but anyway I decided to go downstairs change the columns around and I beat the system I put two columns down on both ends, and they already have the railings, so if you get the end railings, which are, mm, not those, these, the bigger ones, there we go, and on this side, and it essentially closes up the railings and it actually looks a little bit more natural. Not exactly what I wanted, but it still came out, it came out pretty cool. And there we go. So now I'm going to add in another stairwell. Uh, since I didn't show you the last one, I'm just going to show you now. This one is very easy. All it does is just snap into the floor. Like, oh, wrong one. Uh, like so. And then we just add in the doorway. So this next part, I'm going to be pretty quiet. It's just going to be me designing the third floor. And then afterwards, we're going to fill in that gap that I was amping up. So, just a minute.
Okay, so I cut that video short because you've already seen me design the rooms, and I'm very eager to show you this part. I'm going to put in an elevator right here, which at the time I was very excited because I thought I had stumbled upon something awesome, but come to find out most people had already figured it out and put videos up showing you how to do it. So I was a little late to the game, but regardless, it's still a really cool concept. Notice how the atrium floor snaps underneath the elevator right here, which is great because then we can put in the middle wall and uh, it would basically cover up the back side of it. Because that's the goal for me, I just want to make sure that the vault seems like it's buried on the ground and there's like no openings anywhere. And then finish up the rest of the floors. I'm actually going to add in a fourth floor because eventually I will expand the more settlers that I get. And then finish up the rooms, put them back together. Now. You see how I put the elevator a step back? I did that because once I add a doorway to the front, if the elevator's right next to it, it covers up the call button and kind of renders it useless. So, I kind of pushed it back a little bit, and that way we have full access to it. Okay, so I'm just going to add in the floors up here. The atrium floor works well, it just snaps in. There we go. Oh, I realized that I put a wall at the end of the second floor right here because I'm an idiot. So I'll go back and fix that. Okay, so this next part we're going to power up the elevator using the wire glitch. Uh, if you haven't seen this, check out the user uh, Wasteland Dovakin. She has a tutorial guide at Sanctuary. Um, I'll put the video in the description. Uh, it's really cool. She has a lot of cool tips and tricks, but so definitely check it out. But you're going to see me demonstrate it here now. So I'm just making sure that it will reach, and it will. So if you add in a um, some kind of power source, like a generator, um, it doesn't work without a pylon, or at least I don't think it does. It didn't work for me. But, see, it's, it's not working. So, let's get rid of that for a second. Let's put a pylon out there, and then a generator, and then give power to the pylon, and then connect it up here. So what you want to do is grab the wire by selecting the attach wire button for the Xbox, that's Y. So grab it, and then hit the Y again, and attach it to whatever you want to. So you see how it's connecting through the wall right there? I removed the generator and there's still power to it. So that's the glitch. Um, that's a very quick demonstration. Definitely check out Wasteland Dovakin's video. She goes into much more detail and it's just such a great technique. So I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. Finish the outside. And there we go. Look at it. I just love it so much. There's my dumbass with the wall. So what I'm going to do is just uh, finish up kind of enclosing the elevator, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's move over to the Overseer's room. Um, I originally had this um, upper area completely closed off, and then I realized that I had all this room on top of the other shops, like right here, you'll see. All that room. So I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do something with that shit. So I decided to use the utility pieces, and I'm building a place for the reactor to go, so that's gonna power everything. And also another large area, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet, but it's going to be pretty cool. And that's where the reactor is going to go. So on this side, I'm going to use the wide hallways because I haven't used them yet. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to use them for, but I do have a few ideas which I'll show you in the next video.
Okay, on to the last part of the overseer's room. So here, I'm using the doorway, so I have to snap another doorway for it to be able to work, see? Um, so with the corner piece that I'm placing in right now, um, of course I fell, the corner piece doesn't have a door at the end of it. So if I want to use a room and snap a door to it, I have to use the door end cap, which is right here. When I do that, it snaps flush with it, and then allows me to snap another door to the other side. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So here I want to add in another room, find the door piece, and now it snaps because of that end cap. And this is just going to be a separate room, maybe like another work room or something, and over here is going to be a bathroom. I wanted it to be much smaller, but this is the smallest that I can make the room, so we'll just, we'll make do. And that should do it. So on to the next part. So this is the last little bit, um, I'm just going to remove this room over here and make a walkway from this side over to the main area. But I really appreciate you guys stopping by, um, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. I can't thank you guys enough, it's been great. So when I finally hit a thousand, I'm going to do a channel update video where I'll talk about the plans that I have for the channel and give a few shout outs. So I really love hearing from you guys, it's like half the reason why I do this. So any feedback or criticism, please leave them in the comments and I promise I'll get back to you. Thanks again and have a good one.